Hey everybody, it's Denise. How y'all supernaturals out there doing today? Well, I'm coming to y'all to show y'all that y'all need to invest in getting y'all Herbergers registration and not in going to cosmetology school. Currently, the New York Times have an article as well as the Des Moines Iowa Register has an article about cosmetology school costing $21 thousand dollars what if i told you i could save you from having to pay twenty one thousand dollars for a, a, a cosmetology license and you could open your salon today from just getting your registration with me now you wouldn't be able to do chemicals and do bleaching like my hair or um do relaxes but if you want to do natural hair and do sewing weaves and extensions and get your wigs on and slay like all day every motherfucking day well d got some shit to tell you today if i was you and believe me i am you because i got my herbert's registration even though i'm a licensed cosmetologist and school manager i ditched that shit because don't no motherfucking body want to have uh, be getting chemicals nowadays everybody i know they want natural hair and if they don't have natural hair they want to weave or something like that so i didn't need to be holding on to paying 190 dollars up to 200 dollars uh, every three years for a license that i'm really not using because i'm not doing any chemicals so i ditched cosmetology and moved into the natural hair era plus i feel like natural hair has more of a STEM education to it and our black kids need to know it they need to know about dread and dreadlocks and why dread is a religion and not a race and why they need to know how why they can hurt wear their own hurt like they want to wear it and don't have to ask nobody nothing about it whether it's blonde green purple or blue they can come in and look just like me and you so to that we're gonna get to this new york time damn article about twenty one thousand dollars and y'all don't y'all act like y'all can't pay the 199 just to get the same license to move on with your life i'm telling you you don't want them student loan debts on you so you need to pay for it out your pocket open your own salon today and be your own person don't listen to the cosmetology boy had him coming in your shop calling the police on you getting you three thousand five thousand dollar damn fines and you got to feed your kids especially right now in this government shutdown okay now i don't agree with everything that go on with the herb Raiders registration because <clears throat> to me it's just them taking you in because it used to be an unregulated service at all so to me for them to be deregulating is you taking them taking you in to the police and you got to sign your name in order to get your taxes and earn income credit get a business loan get anything they need to know who you are so i don't agree with all of that but with that being said let's get into this article first a twenty one thousand dollar cosmetology school debt and a nine dollar an hour job how many of y'all would rather go ahead and pay 200 before this go back up to 300 and have a 24 hour job but it's your own enterprise it's not nobody else's biz you ain't got to clock in you ain't got to devote your 40 hours of thinking to somebody else you could be thinking about your own business and empowering yourself and your community your kids all right so she told me she went to cosmetology school and all that she hated waking up and getting in the morning getting up in the morning who don't okay but she said she put her game face on and went to the hour school of beauty and there it seemed as if she had to sacrifice and work at pizza hut doing nights to until she could borrow the 2100 dollars for tuition and salon supplies for up to eight hours a day at school or better part of the year so that's the next thing you go to these schools you sign up but you got to pay for your own uniform and kit okay right now with deregulation and you able to enter the the uh industry at a lower barrier you don't have to do all that it's not in the schools quote unquote cosmetology schools right now it's independent providers giving you all this service so you all can have your own stuff and be the next madam cj walker estate lord or horse over there at aveda okay because it's natural her aveda is natural 
All right. Now she says she spent a lot of time learning to give her cuss facials and all of that. And she didn't make no money. Her mom was like, why are you not getting that money? And these people are getting the money. Okay. Not the, uh, the school is getting the money and they're not giving it to the students. And sometimes if you, even if you get a tip, it's like a tip jar and it's shared amongst all of the students. And if you are real good at your craft, like me, you're always being requested. So you never get a chance to even study because you always on the clinic floor. Now here she says she relied on food stamps, health insurance from the state. Now we all know what's going on with the food stamps right now. So I want to see if they're going to write an article about that for her. OK, because food stamps then failed her, too. But either way it goes, she's saying that she don't like the part that she had to do. Um, clean up the, the salon, the school for them. She don't like that. She had to learn health, safety and sanitation and how to keep the school clean and keep things, uh, towels clean and all of that. So do you I'm asking you, do you really want to go to her as a, 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 a client? Cause you going to have dirty towels. Cause she don't even want to wash towels. Okay. So she's saying that she went to all these state regulated schools and they are for profit and she didn't get any money after she paid $20,000 for the cosmetology certificate equivalent to the cost of a two year community college degree. Okay. Who all ain't already paid that? However, they're trying to use this to just abolish cosmetology, period. Okay. They only want to have a uh, natural hair or are they going to do estheticians where they can do Botox and things of that nature. Then she's upset because the state required fifteen hundred dollars, and like in New York and Massachusetts, Ira requires a thousand. I mean, New York and Massachusetts required a thousand dollars, but Iowa required twenty one hundred dollars. So she didn't know working for twenty one hundred hours, no money, only tips, plus gonna get them twenty one thousand dollars. Okay, so a thousand dollar every damn hour. OK, at least I ain't trying to charge that for the herbrators registration. I think and believe that you all need to move forward with getting the herbrators registration and leave this cosmetology stuff for the birds. OK, I'm in 100 percent agreement with this because cosmetology chemicals harm the environment. The chemicals in the salon, if you walk in the salon, you're going to have relax the chemicals quantum you may have lye you may have ammonia from colors you may have acrylic nails going you may have a uh, thioglycolate okay going for a curl or you know a perm you may have what other product you may have currenting going you just sitting in the salon finna explode and don't even know it okay so i'm in 100 agreement with this new deregulation of those 2100 hours and allowing these women to or men to be professional hairstylists okay again my name is denise jared all right i'm d supernatural and i call all y'all my supernaturals okay and together we're gonna get through this deregulation and this hashtag against braids and all this kind of mess firing people together we're gonna get through it because i'm gonna bring you research on it every time i see one all right thanks and have a good day go over to braidscourse.com and check me out bye